Hey, Jeff Davis here, author and speaker. Last week I had the enormous pleasure of sitting down over coffee with my good friend Dan Blanchard. He is an author of the book The Storm, How Young Men Become Good Men. He is a speaker. He is a successful educator in the New Britain school system. And my friends, this man does it all. I wrote a LinkedIn Pulse that featured his insights as well as featuring him on my blog. Just wanted to very quickly share with you a few of the best insights that I took away from my conversation with him for the benefit of you in your life. So first of all, very quickly, a little bit of background about Dan. When he graduated from college and he was in the working world, he was getting started with his teaching career. He took about a year and a half when he was getting his master's where he had the busiest schedule I've ever seen. And I'm not exaggerating here. I mean, I mean literally, this might just be the busiest schedule I've ever seen. He was waking up at four in the morning to do three different workouts, he was teaching all day, he was uh, overseeing study sessions, grading papers for his classes, going to get his master's degree two nights a week, which was an hour drive one way from where he taught. He was uh, helping create, uh, uh, creating a wrestling team for the school that he worked at. And on top of that, he had to patrol the school that he worked at. The principal would frequently ask him to do uh, little projects here and there, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. The point I'm making is that he's lived what he teaches. He's actually lived the insights that he shared. And he is filled with wisdom because he's done a lot of great things and he's also come up with a lot of uh, practical tips that will help you in your life from his various experiences, things that he's learned, things that he is uh, improving on, and of course things that he's done very well in his life as he's an enormous success given that he, he's now published multiple books and like I said he's a speaker and an educator as well. So what were a couple of my favorite insights? And I'm not going to go into all of them in this video. I'm going to leave that for you to read the, the LinkedIn Pulse uh, article where I featured him or you can go to my blog. So to access either one of those two, LinkedIn would be linkedin.com slash in slash speaker Jeff Davis. So you can find me on LinkedIn as speaker Jeff Davis or on my blog would be jeffdspeaks.com slash blog. I'm telling you that off the bat because I'm only going to go into two main insights in this video, but there are even more. There are seven in both the LinkedIn Pulse, linkedin.com slash in slash speaker Jeff Davis, and my blog, my jeffdspeaks.com slash blog. So one, one tip that I just loved of what he said is the ability to say no. The ability to say no. And I have made this mistake as much as anyone else out there, and I really mean this. I really mean that <laughs> I'm working on this myself as much as anyone. So I'm pointing the finger at myself more than I am anyone else out there. The ability to say no is where you pick your top priorities and you focus on those and you don't let all the other distractions and demands and expectations overwhelm you where your focus gets diluted, where you have 3% of your focus here and 5% of your focus here and 7% here, but then you never get anything effective done. But if you learn to say no, you can put a sledgehammer of focus into your major definite purpose, the task that's most important to you, and then run with that. And then when you complete that, then you can move on to other things. Like I said, it's very difficult. It is not easy at all. It's so incredibly challenging. Because, you know, in here where I'm sharing my own struggles with this, when people come up to me and they ask me something, I want to help them. I really do want to help them. And it's very difficult for me to say no. So what I'm learning is that when you say no to when you say yes to one thing, you're saying no to something else. What I'm trying to say to you is that you're always saying no to something, whether or not you realize it. So if you're saying yes to a smaller demand that you don't really want to do, you may say yes to that, but you're actually saying no to your major purpose. But your major purpose may more effectively help other people. So that's one tip that uh, has helped me to realize that when you say yes to one thing, you're saying no to something else and vice versa when you say uh, you know yeah when you say no to one thing you're saying yes to something else so that's a good tip to to remember you don't have to feel guilty about saying no you don't have to put yourself down don't let other people make you feel guilty i'm working on this as much as anyone but it is an important success strategy so that you can really uh, sledgehammer your focus on those, those tasks that you're that you're working on another tip that i love that dan shared here and like i said i'm only going to share two he shared way more than this but i just want to give you a, a little um bit of the tip of the iceberg here in this video and then from here hopefully you can um, you know go to the the LinkedIn channel like I said or of course you can check it out on my blog second tip is he talked about favoring the individual over the system I love this I love this 
one of my all-time favorite movies is The Matrix. And in The Matrix, it, it is a, a, it's a science fiction movie. It's not actually reality, but it's an analogy for what does happen in reality. And in The Matrix, they talk about how humans are, are slaves of the system. They're slaves of society. And when I heard Dan talking about how we should favor the individual over the system, I remembered the lesson I learned from the movie The Matrix, which is that the individual does matter. And that's exactly what Dan was talking about. What Dan was sharing with us is that companies tend to say people are expendable. Companies tend to say, oh, I can replace people. And I, I get that mentality to an extent, but it's very dangerous because if that's always your mentality, you're going to lose good people. People aren't going to stick around in the organization. You can't just treat people like a commodity. People are human beings. And if you actually remember, like Dan Blanchard said in my discussion with him, that the individual matters, you won't get as caught up on, in the system and the rules. Sometimes it's just a matter of sitting down and having the emotional intelligence necessary to really connect with whether it be your employee, your boss, you know, a coworker, it could be a client, whatever it may be, remember that the individual does matter. The individual does matter. I love that because our society always always tells us that only the big picture things matters, like organizations and governments and and of course the big sports teams, and that's all great. I'm not putting any of that down because all of those all of those organizations as an entity have earned their success. But what it really comes down to is the individual, the power and the purpose of the individual. And when you remember that you're always connecting with individuals, think of that one-on-one -on -one heartfelt connection you have with each person. That will help you to get away from the, the systematized thinking that society has really um, brainwashed us in, into, into uh, being, to put it very bluntly. It doesn't mean that society is all bad. There are many good elements of society as well. But I loved that the, the awareness that came from my discussion with Dan, the awareness that, wait a second, society is always telling you it's all about the system. But catch yourself and remember that it's really about the individual. The individual matters. I could go on and on as you could tell. <laughs> I got so much out of my conversation with Dan. I have pages of notes in my, in my notebook. And I, I did actually take these insights uh, to the next level in the LinkedIn post and in the blog. So if you want to learn a few of the more tips that Dan Blanchard shared, speaker, author, and educator, please check it out on uh, linkedin.com slash in slash speaker Jeff Davis, or of course my blog, uh, jeffdspeaks.com slash blog. Please like this video, uh, share a comment in the, in the comments below. Did you like some of the tips that I shared with you? Are there any success tips that have really helped you in your life that I didn't mention? And, uh, you know, and also please share the video around. I'd love to get the word out about uh, not only Dan, but also his book, The Storm, How Young Men Become Good Men. Thanks for watching and have a great day.